All right, Scott, you are, wait, first off, who's older, you or Josh? I'm 10 minutes older. 10 minutes older, so that makes you better, right? Right, yep. More experience is how I would probably put it. Not better, you know, but experience is everything. Okay. I want you to talk about uh, basically that, that fire in the belly you guys got. I mean, you guys are probably two of the most physical guys, which is odd because you're, you're not, like, all beat up and you don't have, like, a crazy a cauliflower face and body. Right, right. Where does this physical style come from? Where does the fire in the Moore Brothers belly come from? I tell you what, it's interesting. I think it's just a, sort of an inner drive that we have, and, and I think a lot of twins possess that drive. But ever since we've been kids, it's just the, the hatred of losing, the competition, and wrestling was the best sport for us. We got into wrestling, and it was just something that automatically we took a liking to and just started killing each other every day. And then I guess it sort of got, uh, as, as we went on to high school and college, it, it just got bigger and better, and, and, and uh, you know the drive just got even more focused. And, and a lot of times with that drive comes anger, comes disappointment, comes excitement, energetic. I mean, you, you just really need to be able to control, I guess, the um, control it because that's one of those things that can get out of control. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of times you'll see in tournaments, uh, whether it's yelling at a referee, just getting mad at some of the, the guys we're wrestling or getting mad at some of the guys on our team. But that's just something that... Uh, you know, you, you, you have to know how to control. It's a definitely a positive thing. It's something that if you're that energetic and you're that focused on a certain task or, or winning or just getting results, then there's nothing bad that can come out of it unless you don't control it the right way. So that's just something more maturity, being able to mature and use it in a positive manner. And uh, both of us, we, we love doing it. We love getting excited. And probably many people have seen us yelling during matches or yelling at our guys or getting hyped up. But that's just something I think really really uh motivates the guys on the team if they see a coach getting that excited and somebody that cares that much someone that's so passionate about it that they're willing to put themselves on the line by showing that sort of um excitement then i then i think it's a good thing okay you were the shallowest award winner two times at the top uh pinner in all of college wrestling two years in a row your brother was runner up to you right, right? Mm -hmm. and was he runner up to you one year when, the year you were here at virginia right okay yep. you had like 30 some and he had 20 some yeah my uh Last year when I transferred to Virginia, he actually had 20, 24 pins at wrestling at Penn State, which was second in the country, and, and I had 34, which obviously it's a little bit easier schedule. So, um, But at the same time... He, it was a, a little bit easier. Just, just a touch. <laughs> but, not, not now, though. Not now. You guys have changed that around. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, our schedule now is, is awesome, and, and it's something that... That we really take pride in. We try to wrestle the best teams. Obviously, you're going to wrestle when you have this the group of guys that we put together on this team. I mean, you look at our lineup up and down, and we have kids that are two or three time state champions, national prep champions, number one ranked recruits in the country. We have guys that are uh, just plain hard work and studs that want to win, and they want to be out there wrestling, competing against the best teams. Whether you're wrestling against Big Ten teams, Big Twelve teams, um, you know some of the Ivy League schools, the PSAC schools. I mean, we're out there wrestling everybody, and I guess that's one of the kind of blends in. I mean, my whole philosophy on wrestling is you got to get out there, you got to wrestle as many matches as possible, you got to wrestle the toughest competition, uh, whether it's two days in a row, three days in a row, whether you're traveling back-to-back -back weekends. I mean, it's just something you need to get out there and you got to compete and you got to push yourself and you should never, you know, never take weekends off just because you're tired or you're sore. I mean, that's that's the main thing, especially the first two years in college, man. You really got to push yourself and that's how then later on then you can... Um, reap the benefits of, of that wrestling. I mean, just the positioning and, and the competition is going to, your experience is going to be way more than if you take it easy in the beginning. So I don't know if anyone's ever asked you this, but uh, how hard was it leaving your brother here for your last year of college? It, it was pretty tough. I mean, uh, it was one of those things where I just knew it was going to be the best situation for me. It wasn't necessarily the best situation for my family or best situation for um you know, like competition, leaving the Big Ten. But when you when you you talk about wrestling, it's a pretty selfish sport, and you got to really know what drives you, what motivates you, what's going to get you out there and make you compete at a different level. And I felt like it was a good time for me to to reach out and get a fresh start and uh, learn from some new coaches and be pushed in a different s system. And there's a lot of people out there who don't like to leave their comfort zone. They they like to stay in something that's comfortable to them, and you know they're used to hanging out with the same people, same coaches. I guess for me, it was I knew when a certain time came that I need to step outside of that comfort zone and really um, step it up to a new level, and 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 hopefully that's you know that's what I try to do, and and 
and I think a lot more guys need to look out, not transferring per se, but just stepping outside the comfort zone to get results. So. Do you still hate losing to him? You guys lost him in a duel this year. Because you had no one, you, right. I don't think you had a 125, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, actually, it was an interesting duel. We, we uh, forfeited 125, but interesting enough, our 133 pounder came out as a freshman and beat, and beat their guy, Danny Mitchell, who obviously was around a 12. Our 141 pounder came out and beat Drew Lashaway, who was who was uh, in the round of 12 this year. So we, I was happy with the results we got in that match. Uh, have getting given up a forfeit was not fun, but overall it never, it's never good losing to him. So. All right, Scott. All right, thanks for uh, showing me around today. You're the man. I appreciate it.